1994, the idea of Camp Compass was born. We decided to build a charity that would provide inner city children with the opportunity to step outside the concrete box they were born to. Recently, we were invited to Stuttgart, Arkansas by Antonio Duckman Jones to take part in a traditional flooded timber hunt. The opportunity for our children to get on planes was a first. The opportunity to put on waders was a first. The opportunity to make food in camp with strangers from across the country was a first. It was our opportunity to get together and camouflage our differences. <laughs> I'm John Anoni. I am a 27-year uh, uh, educator, public educator, as well as the founder of Camp Compass and Two Million Bullets. Camp Compass Academy is the opportunity for primarily urban students to compete and learn about America's great outdoor traditions. Camp Compass requires social and academic efforts as well as time commitments before any student earns the opportunity to travel. All three boys are unique in their journeys, but share the same passion for life. Martin, a kid of Irish descent, made a bad choice before coming to Camp Compass, but through our program has made great strides in the right direction. David, who is Puerto Rican, has been with us since sixth grade and is now a junior in high school. He has proven no matter how hard one has it, there's always hope. Landon, who is biracial, has unselfishly shared his father with hundreds of kids over his lifetime and holds no grudges about that. All three boys are different in many ways, but wore the same color for this trip. My, the, the first reason I started the program, actually I went into teaching and ended up thinking that the books just weren't cutting it for my kids. So I uh, wanted to do something above and beyond. Started coaching basketball for a little bit and didn't feel that that was doing it for some of my kids because not everybody's an athlete, of course. And finally figured out that the outdoors saved me. My name is Chad Gruber. Um, I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, originally I'm from Western Pennsylvania and I have student teaching in Eastern Pennsylvania where Allentown is. I was a student teacher in Allentown School District, a very hardcore inner city urban school district. Um, it's like 70% Latino, the rest of the other halves are, it's like 15% white, 15% black. Tough school district. I was in a middle school student teaching there. But I was walking down the hall making copies or whatever, college kid, and I hear turkey just cutting, yelping, carrying on like crazy. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? So then I go by this classroom real slowly and I look in and there's a black guy in there running a turkey call. I said, I gotta talk to this guy. Like, who, who is this guy? Appreciate you having us. Yeah. I'm glad y'all here. Oh man, I told you we were gonna come. <laughs> hey, I'm Antonio Jones. Most folks call me Duck Man Jones. World champion duck caller. Owner, operator, commercial guide, service waterfowl hunt, snow geese, duck, ducks, the whole nine. And I'm also a call maker, Brody Ben Cobbs. Well, I've been duck hunting since the first day I saw Bo Jackson on TV, Mossy Oaks hunting the country. I seen Bo on TV, so if Bo knows football, then Bo should know his ducks, you know? So it made it where I wanted to try it. What John's doing with, you know, Camp Compass and their academy, when he and I t first talked about it, I was in because, you know, like the title of this is, you know, camouflaging our differences. And I always tell people that hunt with me, hey man, I'm not hard to miss. As in, I stick out. And if you can take someone, no matter what race, color, creed, or demographic, outside of their normal element, and bring them into something that we love and cherish. We absolutely have a fire for them for doing, and that's the world of hunting and fishing, anything outdoors. I'm all for it. Now, overall, our kids are a match for the experience. Uh, we are not big believers in a, in a one-time opportunity. If I asked you um, to go, if you were a hunter and I said, hey, you could go hunting one time, you'd look at me a little crazy because 
you want opportunity after opportunity. So um, to invest, to have our sponsors invest in uh, some children to come down here, we wanted to make sure they were vested. And Antonio, uh, being gracious enough, uh, as you know, he, he is quite the, the, the stud in the, the duck calling world, to have him uh, tag his name along with our kids uh, was quite a big honor. So we decided that it, it was a, uh, a, a risk well worth taking. I didn't know how to use a gun before. I only used to like see them on TV and stuff like that. I never knew anything about it. I never knew anything about hunting and how, how the regulations went down until I went to Camp Compass. And the hunters up north, there are a lot more. They're not as willing, I've noticed. A lot of them just want to do themselves and <laughs> everybody's family down here. Started helping out John and Odie with his Camp Compass thing, and I just fell in love with it. Uh, I've been a lifelong hunter myself, um, and I, I just love the underdog. And I, and I feel like what John is doing, he is the ultimate underdog with being a minority in the city, trying to get an untraditional kid to go hunting. Um, I'm, I'm just hooked with it. We take this pretty seriously in regards to trying to alter a kid's life, trying to open up a box for a kid, trying to give them something that they normally wouldn't get. It's, it's great. I mean, you start having each other's backs. Like, there's so much diversity, it seems like, in the whole hunting world. We should all just stick together instead of tearing each other apart. Ducks start coming. Back up like right to you, okay? <laughs> We got some shooting around us. Ducks have gone overhead. We're just waiting to see. There's a big wad of ducks back here. Back here. I'm flying high though. Everybody can talk about taking kids hunting and taking your own kid hunting. When you start taking kids that's not your own and doing it consistently, then you're doing something. Us, to be able to have, you know, a, a black kid, a Latino kid, a white kid, a, a, a black guy, a, a white mentor, you know, a, a black cameraman, you know, I, I would challenge people to say, you know what? Why don't we act like Mother Nature for a little bit and not really care about it? Let's just go hunt. You know, and, and it's something where we have a lot of growth to do. But all I know is, is if we can continue to show our kids that we love them, that issue is going to go away. So you see, in the end, it's not about the harvest. Mother Nature doesn't care where you are from, whether you are young or old, you shoot a firearm or a bow, or what the color of your skin is. She welcomes us and allows us all to compete against her while we camouflage our differences. Thank <laughs> you.